My name's Saurabh Galagli. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, but I also belong to a jiu-jitsu gym. And I run a strength and conditioning program for most of the guys in my jiu-jitsu gym out of my garage. So I'm really interested in weightlifting and stretching as a mechanism for improving athletic performance. Because I get the opportunity to practice as a spine and hip surgeon and see the effects of degenerative disease on the human body, what I've noticed is that there appears to be this pattern to Western movement and disease that creates a very, very reproducible cascade of degenerative change in the lumbar spine and the hip. Personally, I believe a lot of it starts with the fact that we spend most of our life sitting and that the hip flexor muscle, the iliopsoas, gets tight with time. And as the iliopsoas gets tight and it's not stretched out properly, when people stand up, they lose their normal natural lumbar lordosis and instead they get pulled forward. As a result of that, they get a lot of hamstring tension and pain, so they, cause, they uh, complain of a lot of backache. And that combination of what I call Western pattern movement disease makes people enjoy their athletics less, it makes them feel like they're stiff and they're ungainly and awkward, and it's also something that we can train out. So one of the things that we're going to talk about today is the beginnings of a warm-up for a program of strength and conditioning that I learned at Cal Strength up in San Ramon, California, where I do the certificate program in weightlifting for athletic performance. And we're going to use one of our physical therapists to demonstrate the exercises that I think are really important that you should be doing every single day before you do the type of foundational exercise for your specific sport. So what I like to do is I like to work with jiu-jitsu fighters and I like to work with mixed martial artists and I like to work with triathletes, people who are interested in improving their body mechanics and their overall posture and their alignment. And we can kind of ignore their sport specific training for a period of time and instead focus on the way that their lumbar spine and their hips and uh, the rest of their body move. And I think that stretching those things out and making them strong and flexible and if you have the right uh, training and you have the right space, incorporating a little bit of Olympic weightlifting in your routine can be absolutely fantastic for your overall athletic performance.